What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K. And I'm um, N. And we are back with another... What? Nothing. What do you say? I didn't say anything. You said something. I didn't say nothing. I don't believe you. Alright, guys, we got another mail video today. Mail time! Yes, that is right. Our P.O. Box I'll is... Open the corner. I'm sorry. <laughs> Our P.O. Box is still open for submission, so thank you to everybody who has been submitting. Um, it looks like we've breathed some new life into the mail video, so we really appreciate what you guys have sent in. Um, specifically, TL Warrior Thomas has sent in uh, so much stuff. Um, appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, there's two submissions alone that are his that I had to combine into one. Uh, Pika Manichu sent something in. We've also got some people that we've never seen before, as well as another package from E.B. Smith. So, um, thank you guys for keeping the mail series alive. Uh, we went almost a full year without a mail video, and now we've had two so far in the last couple of months. So, uh, really appreciate that, and it's awesome to see some stuff in here to open up for you guys on the camera. So, this is the very first one here. Uh, this one is from my birthday is September 17th, 1984. No, for real. Uh, this is actually from uh, David. I didn't write on these, but uh, this is from David. So, we'll go ahead and get started with that one. I will... Do that one and let you do the next one. Alright. Alright. So we got some cards there. Uh, we have a holiday card as well. Oh, that's right, the holidays are just for us. Yep, this actually came before Christmas. Um, hope the holidays bring you lots of reasons to smile. It was a good holiday, so. Well, I gotta say, the one thing that has not brought me reason to smile is all the tech difficulties that we've been having lately. Yeah, watching on YouTube, uh, the, the recording part of this stream has definitely been rough, but that's okay. We're, we're, we're good now, I think. <laughs> so, here is the note. It says, Dear K&N, December 3rd, 2020. This is my first time writing to you guys. You've been my favorite YouTubers for a while, and I give you guys some cards to keep in N. Don't rip your favorite Pokemon card, okay? You have to say something nice to it, and can I have a shout-out? Excuse me. Yours truly, David Roach. Be safe and be happy. Shout out to David Roach. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. And he's labeled them. Yeah. K1. And one and, and then two. two. I only got one. Wow, you got two. You must be very special. Yeah, well, since he told me not to rip them. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'm as lucky as you think. Well, I went to go move these so I could whatever, and I saw... I see that there's some... Some <laughs> rainbow the there. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> Let's see what you got. You go first. Huh? I'm scared because he told me not to rip them. There's only one reason why I'd rip them. Uh, ah. ah. There goes the microphone. <laughs> he said I had to say something nice about them. Nice flip. You could say that. There, I, I gave you one. He would make a really good... Target practice to me. He would <laughs> nice. be excellent at it. He would be the best there ever was. How is that nice? Okay, fine. He does do a nice flip, and it is cool to have flying fighting type Pokemon. Oh gosh. J Money, thank you for the 1000 bits! Oh my goodness, dude. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> is that all you got was Haluchas? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm lucky. I guess not, because at least I have the Rainbow Rare Professor's research. <laughs> Since you guys saw that one. Alright, let's flip these over and actually... Oh, see? I wasn't safe either. You only got two! Shut up! <laughs> we got your favorite EX card. Kelvio. Uh, Articuno EX. That's cool. Zygarde EX. I remember we both wanted to play that. And Moltres CX. I did actually play this in a couple of tournaments. It was a good card. It was fun anyways. Honestly, you... I... It was... Ugh, I tried out Zygarde EX a little bit, but I mainly played Zygarde GX. So that one was really awesome at its time. Ah, okay. Okay. Kind of kind of really won't do much now, but back then it was really cool. Well, very nice, David. Thank you so much for sending this in, and that is an awesome card. I don't think I've even pulled this card yet, so really appreciate yeah. that, David. David. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, I'm kidding, man. Thank you. We appreciate it. Oh, man. All right. You can grab the next one here. The next one comes up from... Oh, Magic Jake. Magic Jake. Yes. Um, he actually sent in some stuff on the last mail video as well. Um, if you're watching this, Jake, I, I would like to see what happened to your Facebook because it looks like you deleted it. So 
Uh, we were in contact over Facebook, and it just kind of disappeared one day. Let's do one of these. So it's, uh... Oh, shit, I was going to be like, the face cam didn't pick up the address, did it? No. Alright, because I was kind of like moving it from here. No, it's it has to be at least this high. Okay, good. For it to start showing, so you're good. You're good. Um, I think this is... What is this? Yeah, that's the note there. This is for me. That's for you. Okay. So, um, just so you can get some backstory here, Jake is a um, uh, a magician that um, does his type of work in um, in churches. So he's like a church magician. Dear K and N, love the work you do. Enjoy the coin the cards. Cards or coins? I think it's cards. Okay. And it's, that says illusionist Jake. Illusionist Jake. Okay. You go first. All right. So. In my envelope here. So this is just a picture here that he signed there. Uh, it says, God does miracles, I do tricks. Family friendly, Christian illusionist. So that's actually him right there. So regardless of whatever um, your beliefs are, it's really cool that he does that kind of stuff. Absolutely. And here's mine, another one to end with love, Jake. Very cool. And then uh, he threw some cards in here as well. There's I like that. that saying though, God does miracles, I do God does the miracles, I do tricks. There you go. Magic you Jake, gospel magician. Phone number there. I hope you guys don't. I mean he sent him in here, so obviously he doesn't like have an issue with that. Yeah. Alright. And here is all the cards. Oh! <laughs> You're moving on to the next thing and you didn't even realize there was cards. No, I didn't. Oh, we have a gashon. Nine tails break. Got a bronze on break. Ooh, a full of Pidgeots. This takes me back to one of the last regionals I was in. Didn't you get beat by that? No, I played this. Oh, you played it, okay. I played, it was Mega Mewtwo Y, Zoroark, Pidgeot. That's what it was. And I was one round away from making it to top 32. But go figure, my last round was Mega Mewtwo's worst possible matchup. Mega Garden War. No. Oh yeah, obviously no prank calls on that phone number, please. Yeah. <laughs> Got Gilduck Break, Nido King Break, Mega Tyranitar. We have the value shrimp. Ooh, a Polar Mega, not Polar Mega. Polar Mewtwo. Polar Mewtwo. That's pretty cool. Is that a secret rare? Yes, it is. That's the secret rare Mega Gengar. Secret rare Mega Gengar. Yeah, back then it was a little hard to tell because all they changed was like a little bit of gold. The gold, yeah. And honestly, the gold wasn't that noticeable. No, especially in Phantom Forces. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Parallel City. This... This right here was a stadium. Yeah. My fact, I believe in Expand this is still a pretty big deal stadium. This is a good card. Got some fighting water energy, a random receiver. Celio Canto. <laughs> we got Mega Alicus Spoons. Hey! Mega, not, Mega not that. The, yeah, not the one I lost to. The dual but, type. Mm-hmm. Hey, the world champion Mega Audino EX. Oh yeah, that's right. It did win a world. It did. Got Xerneas break one of the um Good breaks. Yeah. We got a full art Missy's Determination. The Larval Fish. And we got Charmander. Well, that is awesome. Thank That's you, really Jake. Cool. Thank you, Jake, for sending these in. Really appreciate that. If you're watching, definitely appreciate this. All right. We'll go ahead and do the next one. I'm, I've actually got a lot of cards to sleep, so I'll let you do, uh, All right. let you do the next one, too. And then I'll do the... All right. This next one here after. is from the Thomas. So that one is from Teal Warrior Thomas, who is currently in the chat oh, right now. That one just, that one just like froze for like a few seconds. I don't know if it's gonna do that to which name. The big one. Okay, well it's fine. I mean, we already told told everybody we had some issues. So yeah, it's good. We tried what we, we what we could. Yep. No. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot. Yep. Yeah, that's right. He did say he was gonna combine them. So. Oh yeah. Yes, they are combined. Wait a second, there's actually two cards in this Nine Tails Break Sleeve. There was also a Lucario. Oh, there. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Let's see if this is actually... Oh, there. Alright, we have... Oh, we do have cards to the side. Let me see if I can find a note. Well, there's two notes. Yeah, I was about to say notes. We the first one here. Dear Pokemon Evolutionaries, Teal Warrior Thomas sending you more stuff because yes... I made you a Kamen Rider driver or transformation belt based on K. 
Can't remember if it was a Cayman, common right? Oh, common writer? Okay, well, I thought it was Cayman. I thought it was Cayman too. Yeah, common. Okay, okay. along with the concept for common writer K, I doubt the belt would fit you, K, but it could be a pretty. Could be Stop. a decent display. <laughs> Peace, I guess. Quick question for you and then have you guys watched or heard of Digimon? Just curious. Anyway, stay awesome as we move into a hopefully better year. And seriously, Teal Warrior Thomas. Yeah. I know Dig well, I know a little bit about Digimon. I know there's a card game coming out for Digimon. That's um that's It wouldn't fit you either. It's catching a lot of attention. Yes it is. Alright, here's the second note. Hello, Pokemon Evolutionaries of the Teal Warrior Thomas. First off, happy holidays. Second off. I made a bunch of artwork for you. The Pika 2 concept is one of them. The rest of the art is U3, K, and Beezus as pilots of the three ships combined to a mecha based on the obscure yet classic 1970s mecha anime series called Getter Robo. Hmm. The version of the Getter Robo is co codenamed Getter Robo Evolutionaries. I wonder why. Oh, okay. Basically, this mecha has three modes. Getter Robo 1 is what K controls, ah. is what I control, and Beezus controls 3. These modes are accessed by swapping the ships in different formations. Kind of hard for me to explain, but I recommend checking out. Excuse me, clips of an OVA called Shin Getter Robo Armageddon if you're interested. Just make sure Lucas doesn't sleep because it can be pretty graphic due to it being an OVA. Fair enough. Anyway, sorry, I'm just not as long as I expected, but I want to give you as much context as possible. Anyway, stay awesome. May your or protect you all. Nice. I think we need a lot more. Check this out. Protect me. This is the belt that he was talking about, which I don't think it fit either one of us. Yeah, it doesn't even get around. No, you're going to break it. Don't break Please don't break it. Please do not break it. It's cardboard and staples, dude. Oh, gosh. Don't. No, just don't. <laughs> it's not going to work. It's not going to work. I don't know if that would have fit me even when I was uh, in really, really, really great shape. Maybe then, but even... Uh, it ain't going to fit now. <laughs> All right, I'll take over and do the second half of it here show off some of that artwork here so here is the evolutionary driver concept art on there there you go and you have a little envelope of cards there for you cool all right okay that's that. and then there that was though that was the um the larger version of this one here that says common writer k is it common did i get it right Nah, it's a good display piece. Please don't break it. See, he's even saying, don't break it. I was cringing super hard, Thomas. I was. Like, I, I'm totally with you. <laughs> There's the Pikachu concept. This is a mixture, I guess, of P Pikachu and Mewtwo. If you were to combine them two together. And already and the this is really cool, too. This no is idea. the, the Getter Robo Evolutionaries concept art for myself. And then... There's you, with the long hair. Yeah! One of these days. Long hair. Go up. Just cut your hair off. <laughs> and there's the one for me. You want to make a wig for yourself? No. Going in the trash. And then here's the Ghetto Robo One, which is the one that I command. Apparently, I like the uh, I like the colors that you use there. You utilize my some of my favorite colors there. This one looks like it could be like related to Cell. <laughs> I can kind of see that. <laughs> Ghetto Robo Two. This is the one that you control. And then this must be three, which is the one that Beezus controls. Very cool, very cool. This is awesome. I really, I really um, think it's awesome that you have these these concept, these concepts that you put together. It's uh, it's really cool to see. All right, and here's there's, there's been a lot of them over the years that have been really, really interesting. All right, so you went over all the artwork. Yes, all the artwork. Um, there were some loose cards. Yeah, those are the loose cards, and I already gave you your envelope. Okay. So, here's some of the loose cards. Um, Ash Greninja EX, right here, first and foremost. Uh, we got the Mewtwo from the uh, Detective Pikachu set. Magneton, Hollow from Evolution. Would be cool if they made another uh, Ash Greninja card someday. One day. One day. Uh, Reverse Machamp from Evolutions. Uh, we have a Team Magma's Numel. That's really old right there. And then the Seeker Air Team. Here comes Team Rocket from uh, Evolutions as well. So, that's awesome. Team Magma's Numel. Man, this is from... 2004. It's old. That is a very old, old card. All right. Um, you still have your... Yeah, I still have my envelope, so I guess I'll do that one next. Yep. That there, that there, there, and that there. All right. Let's take a look here. 
Thank you for the shiny luck, Grow out. Throw that over there on the floor if you want. Okay, so in my envelope, we have a Greninja. <laughs> I love this Diglett from Crystal Guardians. This is uh, very, very similar to the uh, the emote that we have, the Doug Trio emote. The oh no, TPE oh no emote. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that one. I. That's a bad place for Diglett to be. Mm -hmm. Like, he's about to get wrecked by that wave. <laughs> we got the Whalmer here. Um, oh man, is this Legend Me? I'm going to be... I have a hard time tell, telling what some of these symbols are. And this is definitely way before Lucky I make it again. Uh, this is one of the Neo sets. I always forget which one, if it's Neo Discovery. I think it's Neo Discovery. Uh, Tyrogue. Oh, man. Nice. This is an awesome energy. Uh, I had a few of these back in the day. Um, the uh, What do they call these? There's, there's a special name for this type of uh, holographic energy, but I can't think of it right now. Uh, we have, oh my gosh, a first edition Dark Crokinaw. Yo, you don't see first edition anything anymore. What the heck? <clears throat> Excuse that's me. A, no, that's, that's a testament of age right there. Uh, gosh, what is this one? Neo Revelation? I think it might be Revelation. I can, I, I can, oh, I can never tell. Uh, first edition energy search. This one's fossil. You know that one for sure. Uh, let's see. Totodile. So we got Totodile and Dark Crokinaw first editions out of these. Yo, Thomas, these are so cool. These take me back, man. I never even got a chance to open up uh, Neo sets because by then I was uh, a bit... I wasn't... I wouldn't say I was too old for it, but I was a teenager, so I was too... Well, I wasn't too cool for it because I was never cool, especially as a you teenager. You thought you were too cool. <laughs> I thought I was too cool. Uh, and I was getting involved in other things, so that's... Yeah. I never got to open that set. That's super cool. Uh, this is, I think, one of the Latios and Latias set Pikachus. And then this one, base set two, Ghastly. Pikachu Bros. This is a pop three card. You, what did you just call them? Pichu Bros. Sorry. Why did I say Pikachu? I said Pichu. I, my eyes went down here, and I just looked at the three. A pop three card. I've never had this pop three card, or any of the pop cards from that era. And then a monkey. <laughs> monkey. Pichu Bros, though. I, I don't even... That's. I think that's like from one of the shorts before the movies. Because you remember you had the Pichu Bros that were giving Pikachu trouble? Yeah, I know, but like... I don't think I've ever even Pichu's had this amazing. card. I was collecting pop sets for a long time, and then I gave up because I knew I wasn't going to get them all. But I never got a hold of this card particularly. According to the internet, Pichu is apparently Sephiroth's best friend. Oh, man. Oh, John, you're into that too? Okay, well, sure, yeah. I'm definitely interested. So cool. Thank you so much, Thomas. These are some really awesome cards. Also, I happen to notice that the... Uh, I'm actually jealous of the Pichu Bros one. The semi-poor card is... Nice and wrecked, which I love because monkeys. <laughs> oh man! All right, you're up. Like I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually jealous of that Pichu Bros card. It's so cool. I did get some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and set up the Pokemon though, so that's cool. So we got two Mermaid. We got um Gishi. <laughs> I remember the uh, anime episode with that. Mm-hmm. Got Musto, Oracle of Gusto. Musto, Oracle of Gusto. Yeah. <laughs> Vylon Het, Gusto Squirio. Ooh, Vylon Alpha. Ooh, that's a sacred rare. We got Lavaval Volcano Handmaiden. Vylon Polytope. Sniper! The collectible one. That's still really cool. Vylon Components. Gishki Reliever. Amphibious Bergamoth Mark III. I hope I pronounced that right. Multiplication of Ants. <laughs> a Hero Emerges. Stumbling. Drillago. Drillago. Tower of Battle, Fiend's Hand Mirror, Chopman the Desperate Outlaw, we got Chaos Necromancer, Ooh. and we have a Secret Rare Gem Knight Pearl. <laughs> and of course, we have a Slow Bro. Full Belly Refresh. <laughs> we got six points. Ooh, Jungle Eevee. Ooh, Eevee. That's a cute one. Mm hmm. Reminds me of my playthrough of Let's Go Eevee that I'm streaming right now. That could be very, very. Uh, Comet. Applicable. Comet is the greatest. This was a pack I opened. Oh, okay, so that was like a full the Yu Gi Oh. Um, one of the, or some of the cards were from a pack he opened. Very cool. Well, thank you so much, Thomas, for sending those in. 
Always get some really cool stuff from you, man. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to send in as much as you do, especially. And the custom art as well. I know that takes time to do, so oh, thank you for the time and effort you put into this. Now, this will be a little bit different. i got to keep it here because we can't open it up in front of the camera without exposing the address. Let's do this one last because it's the biggest one. Okay. Um, I actually know what stuff. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I am sure. I am well, sure. The box down here is actually slightly bigger. There's a lot of cards in the last one. Um, the box that's here is slightly bigger, but I think that there's a little bit less in it. All right. This is from Peak Amanda Chip. All right. Um, I think I've taken the address. I think is actually hidden behind that flap. Or did I take it off? Um, nope, it's behind. I ripped it off. I ripped it off. Yeah, I ripped off the right. address. Okay. So yes, Peak Amanda Chip. There you are. This is a Pikachu box. Oh, there it is. I see it. So. The note says, Hey Kay, enjoy this Pika box. You'll also find a random John Cena I found for $1 and a note from one of my students. I meant to send this for the holidays, but the post office has been crazy. I do not blame you at all for waiting for the post office to clear out because, yeah. The theme of this box is Pikachu, and this box has some packs inside, kind of like an Elite Trainer box. Have fun and thanks for being wonderful, Pika Amanda Chu. So, Thank you, Amanda. Just because I don't want to risk showing the address. I'm is it actually there? It is. Oh, okay. So there it is. So I'm here's the John it. Cena. <laughs> I love this. I, I I think this is great. Here's the Pika box. This is awesome. The one dollar John Cena. All right, we're gonna put that actually back here. Um, there's an envelope here with. Yeah, I have to return this. Okay. Specifically, um, there's a card in here which I will take out for the note. This is also really funny because it's an Eternatus box that she stuck Pikachu stickers all over to block out Eternatus, turning it into a Pikachu box. That's awesome. So, Eternatus, no more. Ooh, here's the it's back. Pikachu. <laughs> yes, this is one of those uh, those value things where you get 15 cards. Uh, yeah, they're usually garbage, but I'm curious to see if this one's any good. We got cereal, apparently. This is the Pokemon cereal that just came out a few months ago. Uh, they're very difficult to find. I have not been able to find it. Guess what? We have three boxes of it now. <laughs> so you can have this box, specifically. Yay! Because we already have it. But Pokemon cereal is out. And by the way, if you've not tried it, it's actually really good. Uh, we've had a little bit of it. The Berry Bolt. It's very, very delicious. I love how Pokemon's kind of making a, pop, a comeback and popularity again. With a lot of stuff, actually. With collecting, a cereal's back. This was everything, right? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to take care of this one. I'll let you kind of open up the next one. Um, All right. This was the note from one of her students. She is a karate teacher, uh, and this is one of her students. So, um, hi, I'm Muhammad. I love your channel. If you can, can you sign this card? It'll make my day. I've also subbed, liked, and I post notifications on. So, yeah, thank you, and have a wonderful day. And there's a little smiley face there. He has if you want, you can give a card if you want. All right, cool. And then I have the card here to sign, so I will send this back as soon as I can. This Galarian Berserker. Ooh, and a nice one. Even included postage, which is a very nice gesture as well, so thank you. All right, put this over by my computer, so I know I'm going to send that one out. All right, so this is what I'm going to open first. I actually have never purchased one of these myself, because I don't know if they're... Like most of them. Yeah, are it's it's tough. I used to be a fan of like the cube things that um, Target and Walmart would have sometimes. You're gonna laugh, Amanda. You're gonna laugh because the very first card is a Pikachu. Pikachu! <laughs> That's amazing. Um, if you've ever wondered where your bolt goes, it goes to these. This is the kind of products they make with it. So, that's amazing. Pikachu right off the bat. <laughs> Let's tilt this up a little bit. There we go. All right. We got Greedy Dice, Pokemon Communication. That's a good one. Not too bad. Staryu, Aeron, Staravia, Kakuna, Scyther, Slowpoke. No. <laughs> Geodude, Super Saiyan 2 Cubone. We got Coughing and Ekans and Farfetch'd. And we got Magmar and also one more Cubone. So, All the Cubone bones. All the bones. All right. Uh, I think these were all commons and uncommons. Yep. Yes. I throw that over there. With Look the exception of the one Pikachu hollow. Looked like from Crimson Invasion and Hidden Fates. Yep. This is from Shining Legends, specifically. That Pikachu. All right. Now, this one here, this is the custom little miniature Elite Trainer box that she was talking about. There is some stuff in here. I'll give you that. 
So first and foremost, the build a bear Workshop Pikachu. I can play with the box. I don't know if I actually had this one, so this is really, really cool. I think cool. you did. I, I think I remember seeing that. Maybe I did get one, but I didn't get one myself. I think somebody sent one in, maybe, if I do have it. Um, but if it, if I do, it's actually in this drawer right next to me, so I'll have to look to make sure. But uh, this is definitely difficult to come by, so thank you so much for that. We also have some Pikachu sleeves. Oh, that's actually cool. These are really cool. I love the way that this looks. Like the, uh, it's like a shadow box type effect. Pikachu chalk sleeves. That's what it is. They're chalk. It's like a, uh, it's supposed to represent like a chalk drawing. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> there's a Target Pikachu Pika gift card. Pink! This makes me very, very happy to see. Andrew JW, thank you for the resub for three months in a row. Appreciate that. Uh, it makes me very happy to see Target has its own custom Pokemon gift card now, which this particular one has $5 on it. So thank you for the $5 gift card. I go to Target all the time. He really does. Yeah. Oh, you were saying nice. I thought you were going to say something else. No. Now we have some packs here as well. Um, if I'm not mistaken, these are the ones that you can get the G-Max Pikachu in. Or the V-Max Pikachu, I should say. Um, I think these are the ones. Is that correct? Well, I mean, if that's the case, why is there a V-Max Pikachu There's, in these? These are promo packs. These are, these are specifically the ones that... Um, there's a really expensive Pikachu in this, I think, if that's uh, the case. Uh, I, if I'm recalling correctly, again, I'm not very, very good at my Japanese TCG, but I remember people were going crazy for certain packs. Uh, and I think these were it. So, I guess we find out. Um, here, let's split these up so that we have... There's three Vivid Voltage, there's two, so I'll give you one of those. Yeah. And a Vivid Voltage pack. And then... Hmm. I think what we're going to do... Oh, we can't do it that way either. You have one and one. You know how we get the best pulls. Here we go. This is what we're going to do. That's right. Pick my And whoever gets the best pulls will open up the final Vivid Voltage pack in the final. All okay. right. So I'm going to go ahead and start with mine because I'm a child and I can't wait my turn. <laughs> okay, this is... Okay, so there's this version of Pikachu in here. This is the, the, uh, the promo card with this artwork, which is still very cute. All right. All right, we're going to go to the Japanese Vivid Voltage pack here next. Which if I can find the... There it is. It's kind of hidden. He can finally open up these packs somewhat now. I'm so somewhat. proud of him. Somewhat. So proud of him. <laughs> All right, we got the pack trick there. So we have a Dusclops. Chimeco. We got Hitmontop. Also with B in the background, which I think is cool. Ferrisseed, which is evading the shiny for me in Pokemon Go. I can't stand it. And then we have Ninjask. Uh, what? Giga Man, you just said one of them is a custom pack. One of them is a custom pack? Oh, I have it. Oh, okay. I have the custom pack. Well, that's perfect then, because then you can have that one instead. Okay. Uh, and then this, if this is the custom pack, then I'll do, I'll do that after we do our little battle. Okay. So next up is Vivid Voltage English. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Three. He, one, he did pick my tax. I did indeed. I did indeed. All right. So we have a Ninkata, we have Pick a Pet, Puchiana, Rockruff, Blitzel, Galvantula, Swellow, League Staff, Duat, and Terrakian. So I really don't have anything to show for a pack battle necessarily. All right. Let's see if mine are any better. Careful with that. I know. I think you got the same Pikachu that I did. Yep. Yep. Same one. Mine, mine doesn't have this one Pikachu in it. It does not. I think that there's also, you can get the other one as well. Okay. Japanese. Pharisee Chen is leading, eluding, eluding you too, Horror Panda. Feels bad. It's wow. About, it's about time that shiny you can't get in that game. For once, you're having issues opening up the pack. The Japanese pack. Yep. Mine came out like butter and yours is coming out like sour cream Old chocolate. butter. <laughs> All right, here's so we got the um, Pokemon League staff, Milsery, Gogot, Sandile, and a Terrakian. That's a hollow. And you win. <laughs> Ironically, that's what you pulled in the... Um... Oh my gosh, you're right. It's a rare in ours. We both pulled Terrakians. But mine's a hollow. So but yours is a hollow. That's not fair.
I don't like it. All right, so we got ourselves Clobopus. Got Skidoo, Chubbit, Better Seed, Joltik, Loud Loud, Memory Capsule, Gogot, Go -Go. Reverse Go Go. You pull a lot of Go Go's. Speed Drill. I did pull a lot of Go Go's. All right, so technically you still win because of the Hollow. So what we're gonna do next is the custom pack that she sent. Which, guess what? There's the Pikachu that it came from. <laughs> that one right back there. There is a Pikachu. Pikachu. Another one, of course. These are my Pikachu. No doubt about that. Pikachu. The Evolutions Pikachu. A Secret Rare. Shining Legends version. The Promo Pikachu EX. Lightning Energy. Oh, there was a pack trick, wasn't there? Oops. Game oh, no, there wasn't. No, no. There's this in the back. Uh, Sun and Moon Promo number 183. I forget where this came from. I remember this one, though. This is the Pikachu Mimikyu promo. And then Pikachu Zekrom, and this is, of course, a Japanese card. This is very, very cool. I don't think I ever pulled that one in any of the Japanese stuff we did, Ooh. tag team stuff. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for that. Now, I guess you win, so you get to open up that pack. All right, let's see. Is it going to be the same one, or will it be different? Oh, it's going to be different. <gasps> It's a hollow! That's a little warped. That's okay. Oh, give me sleep, please? Yeah. It's bound to happen when there's single cards. Like yeah. That. Very cool. Hey, there at least there were different stuff. Yep, there was more than one it's different one, so that's awesome. And I pulled it. Alright. So, Alright, so we got one big box left. Let me get this out of here. So thank you again, uh, Pika Manichu, for sending these thank in. Thank you. Very, very awesome. And like I said, once again, the address is on the very top here, so I'm going to have to just hand you everything. Um, okay. I think I tried to get rid of it, but it wouldn't come off. First off, I believe this note. Alright, I'll let you read the note there after. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? No, it's not. you got to read the note first. Why don't you just take everything out and just set it up? Oh, shoot. Um, oh, wait, that, that just has an address. That just has our... That has our address. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's just the P.O. box. That's that. And also, they can't see it anyway. I just knocked down the camera. Whoops. Who sees? All right. Commons, uncommons, reverse hollow. We got a deck box with some stuff in here. I don't know. All in here. Looks like rares. We got a box that says Star Wars on it. Star Wars. Yeah. Nice. Rares and reverse hollows. Some dividers and basic energy. We got some of the vivid voltage. Oh, we got more vivid voltage packs to open here. My goodness. What the? What is this angel? Oh, opening. Oh, man. We got dice and poison counters from Elite Trainer Box. And also leaves from Elite Trainer, 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 Trainer Box. So pretty much everything from the Elite Trainer Box was in here. We got something that says open last. Alright, open last. We have theme decks. One of them being Charizard. So I know about this. This is, uh, yeah, there, there's a little bit of a story behind this one. But Charizard and Dreadnought. Oops, Charizard and Dreadnought. We have a decks. huge stack of codes. There you go. Like, and I mean a huge stack of codes. Yeah, that's a massive stack of codes right there. My goodness. Neo Destiny. Okay, so it was Neo Destiny. I almost said that first, but then I thought it was Neo Discovery, so... Sorry about that. This is Commons, Uncommons, and Energy. And then there's some notes here. This goes with this. Um, this goes with this. There's the uh, the player's guide from the Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Box. This is the last box. And those are commons and uncommons as well. All right. Well, I will give you the note to start off with. All right. There's a lot here. <laughs> All right. Dear Professor Kid and Happy New Year. I'm sending you some cards in the hope that they might help you with bulk credit or sell money. Hopefully you can get some use out of them. I'm just a collector, so the online codes have not been used. I figure you can give them away or use them for yourselves. I'm also seeing, I'm also sending you some of my Star Wars Destiny cards. I try to get a group start here, but once the company announced that they will not be continuing, the game interest died in my area, and it was buried after COVID. I know a lot of people are still trying to keep the game alive. 
Hoping that you might be able to use or give away the cards to someone that wants to continue the game anyway in your area. Which, that's actually quite a bit. Thank you for all you that you guys do. Your channel got me into Pokemon collecting. I tried when I was a kid, but back then it was just too expensive. Now as an adult with some disposable income, it's fun. I often have your channel running in the background on work and listening to you guys during lockdown this year was the only thing that kept me sane some days. Hope you have a great 2021 and you and your families and friends stay safe and healthy. Sincerely, Elizabeth Smith or Evie Smith. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so that much. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's really cool. So the story behind this one was this, exactly. This was the theme decks. Uh, a coworker gave me these for Christmas. I don't need them, but I thought you could do a giveaway or keep them. Um, the Charizard one has quite a lot of actually, um, well, it did. I may not anymore. I uh, had a lot of value to oh, it because of Charizard specifically. And the fact that Charizard is actually kind of decent competitive-wise too. Yeah, and ironically, I forgot to order um, any theme decks at all. And the only ones we ended up getting were the ones from the Pokemon sentence that we did that video with. So that's really interesting. Uh, Kevin the Kid, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. And then, of course, we have the Dreadnought one here as well. This one is a lot easier to find, as you can probably imagine. <laughs> so there's that. Or Dreadnought. Ah, let's see. So these are all commons and uncommons in here. Like, this is a massive amount of commons and uncommons. Um, yeah. Like, a lot. Uh, since we know that they're all commons and uncommons, I don't know if we need to, like, go through and show every card like we normally do, just in the interest of time. Yeah. But this is a lot of bulk. Now, obviously, the purpose of this was for us to um, be able to get more product with. And this is the exact same thing. Commons. Commons and commons energy. Uh, I will briefly show you guys the Star Wars one. Yeah, that's all right. One for sure. Like it's just gonna be brief. See, there's all that in there, and then more like just commons and uncommons everywhere. So I'll let him show that. Uh, we will, of course, you know, show the rest of the stuff that's here. But the yeah. commons and uncommons, I think, we'll probably save for the interest of time. All right. So the Star Wars Death Being Game. For those of you who don't know, it's heavily based on dice and cards. So I'm just gonna show you guys what those look like right there. And again, I'll show you guys some of the cards. So you get stuff like the um, upgrade weapons, you get characters, and you get like, you get, yes, Jar Jar, 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 Jar Binks is a card. <laughs> Unfortunately. And now that they don't make this anymore, Misa, useless. <laughs> like I said, um, there's like entire Facebook groups and stuff dedicated to still keeping this game going. Now that actually is really cool. Yeah. Like, a lot of people really did like the game, and honestly, it's not even that the game didn't sell well. It's just that the company just didn't want to do it anymore. Yeah, and it's obviously not possible to keep playing this when people can't meet up to play them, so. Yeah, I, I've heard there's, like, an online way to do it. Is there really? That's what I've heard. Huh. And then there's just one in here that was in a special... Little top loader right there. I wonder if there's something special about that card. Maybe I'll have to look it up. Okay. So yeah, there you go. Thanks so much. And then the game also does include um, dice as well. Yes. Dice go with the cards. Yes, exactly. Okay. So this that's obviously what, that's one of the things people liked about it is that you could have like the best deck ever, but there almost wasn't a meta because a lot of things were dependent on how you rolled. So those obviously will be kept for yourself. Um, Cynthia. Actually, I think there's a few Cynthias in here. Yep, there's a couple. Playable cards. And then these are all reverse hollow, or not reverse hollow, these are all regular rares that um, were in this deck box here. So anything you can find that are in sets, uh, Frost Rotom, for instance, so you can see just a bunch of rare bulk. I'll throw over here. Uh, these are rare reverse hollows. Buckle on me! There you go. There. Garb, Simeon, Marnie. Oh, obviously there's some uh, some stuff in here from Champions. Power. I found that Sparkle Army. Ooh, boss. boss orders. There's Leon. Those are going to be somewhat playable cards to hold on to there. Common, uncommon, reverse hollow. I think this is actually the last. Oh no, there's no, there's that up there. Yeah. The open last box. Let's see if I can get these to show up. Out of the side of the box. That's where you open that one. And of course, common, uncommon bulk here. Sea of nothingness, rufflet, choice band. 
Remember when Choice Band was a fairly valuable card mm -hmm. at one time? Now we have Vitality Band that almost no one plays. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, this one was for a little bit there, that Lost Blender. Yep. Had a little bit of, speaking of Vitality Band, Crushing Hammer, Bounce Sweep, Murkrow, Stuffle, Lolan Grimer, Lasses, Special. Just a blend of stuff from different eras, uh, di different recent eras, anyway. It's there. And then open last. These are all in sleeves. Okay. So, oh, there's some top loaders in here, too. Ooh. Oh, boy. What do we have here? Let's tilt this down a little bit. All right. So we have a Celery. This is a promo from X and Y. Groovy. Oh, what's up with the camera? What do you mean? Just look at it. What? You don't see, like, the static heat stuff? Like, it looks like low res. Down here? No, look at the entire... The entire card looks low res, dude. How do you not see it? It's the, um... It's the sharpness. I have it on so it'll... It'll add more detail. Ah. There's Celebi. Victini. Stack Attacka. Vicavolt. Zero Aura. Ooh, nice. Ranatar. Scrafty. Bolton. Rhyperior. Beware. Beware. Hitmonchan, uh, Jolteon, Hydreigon, Galarian, Cursula, or Cur uh, Cursula, yeah, yeah right Cursula. Cursula. Uh, Galissapod, Marnie, there's some Prism Stars, we have Victini, oh, Volcarona GX, Alolan Muck GX, Magcargo GX, Machamp GX, another Prism Life Forest, Scizor, Scizor, Scizor V, Galarian Darmanitan, now we got some Full Arts, oh jeez, <laughs> Rhyperior, Malamar, Santa Scorch VMAX, Milo. Wait a little boy! <laughs> oh, we got Rainbow Rare, Copper Raja. Uh, that's the second one in stream! That's the second! We ended it and started it with the same card. Professor's Research. <laughs> Rainbow Rare, Jirachi. This is the promo you get out of that Jirachi box. Super Boost Energy, Dawn Wings Full I remember when that one was really good. Reshi Ram, Rainbow, another Milo. Ordinary Rod and Rescue Stretcher Secret Rares. That is really awesome. Holy cow. <laughs> this is crazy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness. That sleeve's upside down. I wonder... Wait a minute. Oh, they put it in upside down. Okay, that, that makes sense. Oh my gosh. Well, Evie Smith, this was really, really awesome. Thank you so much for sending these in. Like, there's some awesome cards in here for sure. Um, we also have packs left to open, by the way. That's, I actually <laughs> forgot about those. <laughs> Can I be honest with you? I did too. <laughs> I forgot they were sitting there. And I literally just looked down and was like, oh yeah, that's right. There's packs still left to open. <laughs> so we still need to do that too. The reason why I set this back here is I want to let you guys know that, believe it or not, even the hollows from Evolutions have started to increase in value. Uh, these can be worth anywhere from a dollar all the way up to like fifteen dollars, depending on what they are now. I, man, I wish. Can I we knew. stop giving this set value? I wish I knew, but I don't. <laughs> so I will give you. Uh, pick, pick those two. So we got four packs of vivid voltage left to open, and then this mail video will conclude. So this has been uh, quite a mail video, to say the least. Uh, one of the definitely eventful. One of the more eventful ones we've had, even out of the oh, ones that we used to do. I got two Celebes. I got Orbeal and Pikachu. Ah, I'll let you go first. Yeah. I'll tell you, you've been having me go last all stream. I mean, all stream all video. <laughs> I keep saying stream because we are live on Twitch, obviously. E. All right, so gonna start off here with a woo bat. Taylo, Charmander, <laughs> Wooper, Galarian Meow, Mariana, Beauty, Stone Energy, a Reverse Beauty, and we have a Lycan Rock. Rock. Speaking of Lycan Rock, <laughs> Blue Lycan Rock, I believe, is still here. Uh, Reggie Universe says, There's a dude at the airport that looks exactly like me. Well, I promise you, I'm not at the airport. <laughs> but that is really funny. Ooh. Okay, that was kind of creepy. <laughs> All right, we got ourselves a Clubpus, a Woobat, Taylo, Charmander, Wooper, a Swoobat, Excadrill, 
Mecargo, a reverse rare Electros, and oh my god, full art Nessa. That is one of the full arts that I have not pulled yet that I really, really wanted. I'm gonna hold on to that one. <laughs> wow, full art Nessa. This is uh, this is definitely one of the more sought after collector cards. So that's awesome. Good job. Yeah, it's, <laughs> not, it. it's not Leon, so... Not to mention, also, big shout-out to Evie Smith, because, uh, obviously, we wouldn't have gotten that without you. Who cares, though? That That's not the champion. That's oh, not man. champion Leon. Whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> Alright. So, for my pack, we got Slugma, Beldum, we got Milsery, Wooper, Ninkata, Aromatic Energy, Heroes Metal, Him on Top, Giraffe Rig, and a Shiftry. And then I have one more pack. Ah, uh, rip. I beat you. You beat me. All right. I'm just I gonna, always beat him. I'm just going to show you guys. Yon Mega and a Sableye Reverse. Sableye, I got nothing Sableye. out of my packs. <laughs> but that's okay because that Nessa makes up for it. That's an awesome. You're welcome. Pack. Yes, thank you. What is this? Hey, the red, yeah, the rest of my pack. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I was going to put them over here so they are all sorted out, but I think that is everything for yeah, this video. Yeah, could be. Oh, that was the one Unless you told you're hiding something. Yeah. No, I think that's everything. That was uh, quite a long video, and if you guys stuck around through it, thank you very much. For those who are in the stream that have watched the entire time, thank you very much for Shout out to everyone that. who sent us anything. Like, that was really thoughtful and amazing of you guys. It really was. Like, it means a lot that we go to the P.O. Box and we see stuff there to open up for you guys. And uh, even if it's just a letter, like, that's, that's just... You, you spent your time to send something in for us to read, and that means a lot to us. I mean... People care about us! Yeah, even now, like, even after we've kind of fallen into the, uh... The, irre the irre irrelevant square. Well, yeah. The irrelevant rectangle. We're not as relevant as we used to be, but you know what? We still have a lot of people that care. Which means a lot to us, so we appreciate you guys. There we go. The irrelevant... The square of irrelevancy. What is... I'm trying to make a square, okay? We're talk we're talking this. I mean you could kind of shorten it up like that and have a square there. Like inside of that. <laughs> but kind of. I can't you can't do it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's or, a square. Or you could do that thing. You go like this. You have a square like that. Yeah, but that's a square. <laughs> oh well. All these squares make a circle. <laughs> All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, like you said, big shout out to everyone who submitted here today. Uh, means a lot to us. And uh, thank you very, very much again uh, for everything. So, ow. Way to go. It's my ring on the table. I meant to hit the mat. What ring even is that? This is titanium, I think. Why do you have a titanium ring? Because all my other ones kept bending. And this was like a $70 ring. So, it was a good deal. But it's fading a lot, so... Oh, well. Shame. Yeah. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you. And uh, if you guys would like to submit to the Mega Mailbox series, the P.O. Box is always listed in the description in every single always, video. Always. Down below. And, uh, yeah, feel free, but don't feel obligated, obviously. And uh, thanks for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, you all take care. Have a good day.